Hey guys, welcome back to the Sysadmin channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Active Directory user accounts using PowerShell. So I'm remoted into my domain controller and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the PowerShell script and go through a walkthrough of everything that it's going to do. Now here I got my ISE opened up and as you can see the first thing that we want to do is we want to check to make sure that when you open up the PowerShell script it's going to run as administrator. If it's not running as an administrator, the user account's going to fail and you're going to be pretty much out of luck. So here you can see that it's going to prompt you for your first name. It's going to prompt you for the last name. Once it has the first name and the last name, it's going to enter in that as the full name. And then it's going to take the first initial of the first name and then combine it with the last name to make your username. And if that username already exists, then it's going to take the next letter of the first name to make a unique username. Right here I have it set to my OU and my domain. Uh, you're going to obviously want to change that for yours. My domain is going to run as the domain that I'm running it on. Uh, if you want to enter a description, we'll go ahead and do that. And after that's done, we're going to display the information. First name, last name, display name log on OU if you set it and the domain. I'll check that over. So what I really like here is that you're able to check to see if the account or username already exists. Um, if it does then it's going to add the next letter of the first name and it'll tell you on the screen that that account already exists so that I think that's pretty cool. So it's gonna run through that check to see if it's if it exists or not and then it's going to display out the new information so if the logon name changed then it's gonna it's gonna output that at there so next we have the password requirements password complexity um, for my environment I'm gonna set it to 12 characters it's gonna prompt you to enter in the password as a secure string so if anyone's looking over your shoulder uh, they won't be able to see what the actual password is it's just gonna show little dots so it's gonna check if it's greater than the password length which is 12 characters if it matches any special characters, if it matches any numbers, lowercase letters and uppercase letters, all the same. So once you enter in your password, it's going to run through the basically the, the script, the subscript, and make sure that it's greater than the password length and make sure that it has three out of the four uh, requirements. If the requirement is not good, then it's going to loop through it again until it actually does get a password that matches those requirements. So once all that's good, it's going to prompt you to enter it, to press enter, to actually create the account, and then it's going to actually do the new AD user uh, command, which is the actual command that'll create the account. So, so once it creates the account, it's going to get the properties of that account and then output the final information, just so you can see what it actually did. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up PowerShell as an administrator. I always like to start my directories in the root of the C drive just for personal preferences. Then I'm going to go to C underscore scripts and then go ahead and run that AD create user no mailbox PS1. All right, you can saw, you see right there that it loaded the Active Directory module. Without that, it's not going to work. So here it's going to prompt me for a first name. In this demo, I'm just going to go ahead and use Joe. The last name, same. In this demo, I'm just going to use Smith, a pretty common name, Joe Smith. All right, the description is going to be uh, created with PowerShell, just so we can identify that it's created with the script. All right, so now it sees that J Smith is already uh, a user in my domain after the J so his Joe Smith's username is now going to be J.O. Smith. Alright so here I'm going to instead of typing in the password because you're not going to be able to see it I'm going to uh, output into a notepad just so you can see what I'm actually typing. I'll go ahead and right click that copy and then paste it into the prompt. So right now my password is AD or ASDF one two three four. You can see right here that it doesn't meet the minimum password requirements. 
Um, it doesn't have any special characters. It doesn't have any uppercase characters. So I'm going to type in a new password that's more complex. And this new password will contain uppercase, lowercase, special, and numbers. I'm going to copy that. All right, and now we'll paste it into our PowerShell window. Press Enter, and now it looks like it took it. So we're going to press Enter to continue creating the account. Once you press Enter, it's 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 going to go. So make sure that that's all the information that that's that you wanted. Just letting you know it's creating the Active Directory user account. All right, so the account was created with the following parameters or the following information. So now we're going to open up Active Directory users and computers, and as you can see. Joe Smith was created with PowerShell. As I mentioned before, John Smith was a previous account that had already had the user J Smith, so we had to create another one. Smith created with PowerShell. So I'm just going to go through the tabs here just to make sure everything's good. Um, the user logout name is Joe Smith or J O Smith. And that's exactly what we wanted, so it looks like everything worked. So those of you that are readers rather than watchers, I go to I went ahead and put the script on my site. Uh, you can basically copy and paste and put it into your own uh, PS1 file. So go ahead and go there, copy the script, and I'll link that link down at the description. So that pretty much wraps it for today. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and definitely let me know in the comment section. Um, if you have any ideas for any other videos that you'd like to see or any scripts that you would like me to create uh, to help you become a better sysadmin, once again, let me know and I'll see what I can do. For now, just go ahead and doggy style that like and subscribe button and I will see you later. Thanks a lot, guys.